have All right, you are live. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Kind of excited. This is our first live on Facebook. I don't know if it's like TikTok or what. If y'all can share the Instagram, the live. we don't know. We've done Instagram. We've done YouTube. We've done TikTok. This is our first live on Facebook. So, yeah, I don't know how it works. You can share it, call your friends, whatever it is you got to do. Get them over here and let's have a good time. And we're going to do a little cooking today. Hang out with some hey, friends. Somebody on here that we met at Mud Nats. Oh, yeah. Caleb. Oh, yeah. Hey, yeah, yeah. we're supposed to be going to Alabama next weekend. You going? What's going on the fire today? Oh, we got a little stuff, interesting stuff today. Yeah, we're going to actually, uh, I don't know how many people raise chickens. Uh, we raise these old meat hens. Key to that is keeping food and water 24-7. It's kind of how I treat my wife. <laughs> Keep her food and water 24-7. She'll stick around. Well, we got an old meat hen. As y'all can tell, she probably did less sleeping than eating. She healthy, but uh, we're gonna roast the chicken in that cast iron pot. Oh, we're gonna do macaroni and cheese, and we're gonna kick it up a little bit. Uh, and we're gonna do some dirty rice. We got some chicken livers and gizzards and hearts ground up, seasoned up, and we're gonna do some dirty rice, as I call it. Kayla said he sure wished they were. Uh... He said they're going to the horse races in Hot Springs. Oh, there's nothing wrong with that either, but... The caps are $25. We only have the one color for now. And if you want it, it's on outlawway.com. Well, I'm going to put this old rack down in the bottom of this pot I got here. This old Dutch oven. I'm going to grab my seasoning. And we're going to season this old girl up. How did your cornbread come out, Theodore? Well, we ain't going to be bashful about the seasoning. Hello, Mexico. How are you doing? I mean, after all, we have it made by the truckload. Which will be available in about a week and a half. Week maybe. And right, I'm gonna get this old chicken on this rack. Well, we almost let that son go and eat a day or two too long. It's almost don't fit in the dang pot. Got a little salt. I uh, do not know how to speak Spanish, but if you're from Mexico, hello. Buenos dias. Mucho gracias. Oh, you have a blessed day too, Matt. Well, we're going to get this old chicken started. I'm going to put just a little bit of... The hats... Uh, 
or on uh, outlawway.com, Blake. Yeah, you know, he said, "Let me know when they're available. I'll buy some." Cajun knows where to find me. What's that? Blake Julian. Oh yeah. Well, the shirts, the hats, everything is available. The huggies, stickers. Uh, on the website. Uh, we we don't have them here. We we don't. Hell, matter of fact, I ain't even got one. What's the name of that town? Brooklyn, Alabama. Yeah, Brooklyn, Alabama. Well, oh, I'm sorry. He's referring to the seasoning. Okay. Oh, yeah. As soon as this side, I'll bring it. Blake knows I'll bring it. He works with us. I'll bring it. Oh, okay. Some. We're going to put a little coals on the top. We don't want to burn nothing right away. We usually wait until we get about a 12 pack in us before we start burning stuff. Yeah, we'll be. Let me look it up and see what the name of that thing is that we're going to. But we'll, let, we'll let that old chicken start working on that. Here in a little bit, we'll put some vegetables and stuff in there with it. We're just going to let it get going for now. What we got today? We got the baked chicken, macaroni and cheese. And uh, dirty rice. We're going to a thing called Bob's and Boulder in Brooklyn, Alabama, next weekend. I believe uh, pretty much most of the team outlaw will be there. We'll have our vendor trailer there, and uh, we'll definitely be there riding. Yeah, I need to post it on all your uh, social media. I'll do that tonight. Uh. Uh, the hat is on outlawway.com. I know for sure uh, Cheeto will be there. John Michael uh, with Rick and the Boss will be there. We'll be there. Nacho. Nacho will probably be there. He may be like us. He may be riding with somebody else because I don't know if he's got a unit fixed yet. Because he ain't riding dirty, huh? He ain't riding dirty. Not yet. All right, I got an old Magnolite pot. I'm going to boil some water in there to get them noodles boiled. I got a little bit of water and some salt. I'm going to let that heat up and get going. And I don't know what the deal is with my fireplace. is damn smoke going the wrong way. Uh, The shirts, I think, are 3X, but they are. we are working on getting them to get uh, larger ones. Those will be extra. I'm not sure how much more. The other thing, I don't know where everybody's located. Angela, uh, what part of Florida are you in? We'll be in Hesma, Louisiana, uh, April 15th. We'll be there to judge a cooking contest. What kind of kind of cooking? What they cooking in? Cast iron, baby. Cast iron. What's in that pot? I think they're, well, I know they're going to have a, uh, there's a couple, a lot of people entered to cook certain items, and then there's a kind of like an open house deal where they can cook wild game. Oh, his hat. Uh, uh, the hat he has on real quick, uh, we found that at a yard sale. It's kind of special to him because we bought it from, but to buy those hats, they're like $300. We actually just purchased one. Uh, I bought a new one to try to break in and have an extra one. And, uh, a lot of people have asked me about, you know, selling them and, Man, there's no way. I mean, like I said, uh, it's a Stetson hat. They're, they're like 360 bucks, I think. Uh, so, yeah, they're, they're just, there's no way I'd fool with that. I 
wonder if Hunter's going to be in Florida next weekend. If he is, he can drive up. Because it's uh, close to the uh, Florida-Georgia line. Florida-Georgia line? Mate, that, that's a damn band. What? <laughs> yeah, that one there was probably... This one was 70. made, it was actually, this hat in particular was an older gentleman. He passed away. I got it from his granddaughter. Uh, this hat's actually a 1952 model. <laughs> and I know it ain't a vehicle, but that's actually the year that this hat was made, 1952. I like how you said that. Uh, it's, it's just, I've got several types similar to this. This is the only one I've got just like this, and it just means a lot to me. And I'll probably have it rebuilt or whatever I got to do way before I just get another one. What's your favorite knife to use? Uh, you know. What kind of noise was that? I, well, <laughs> I mean, there, there's some really good professional knives that I enjoy, and I'm not even going to buy it or put them out there because... I just don't feel like I should, but uh, my favorite knives to use, to be honest, personally, one of, most of all the, my favorite knives are people that make homemade knives, and uh, I love buying, you know, homemade knives from people, man, that son of a bitch exploded. You need a sharper knife, it looks like. No, I was trying to cut against the damn, oh. I should have just hammered the damn thing. Uh, I love homemade knives. Most of them, most of them have a lot of character and, and they do a lot of things. Uh, I, I really enjoy don't supporting a, most of those people to start off with. Don't they have a video to where you can put them into something and you shake the jar? What? I thought I saw something on uh, another social media site. They put the uh, garlic in there. Hell, have them people a lying ass on them. You put them in honey. My chigger, what are you doing? But, I mean, to be honest, there, there are a lot Thank of you, really Angela. good professional knives. Uh, I'm not a professional, so I probably don't have as much Somebody's love for some of them as some of the actual professionals. Because, uh, personally, I'm not going to spend... Six hundred dollars on one knife, and if I do, it's probably gonna have a damn deer or something carved in the handle, and it'd be it'd be something that I'd more or less probably hang on the damn wall before I used it. If I'm just cooking, I've made a lot of knives. Uh, I've gotten a lot of knives from people that enjoy making knives, and that's been my favorite knives to use. Somebody said try uh, Montana Knife Company. It's a small business. I'll definitely look them up. I'll definitely look into it. I, like I said, I love helping small businesses, and uh, I, I mean, I can't even begin. Well, I can't because I don't deal with it. She does, but I know just a portion of the amount of things that come through. People want us to support and make videos and do things and and commercials and. I, we've stayed away from all of that. Uh, you know, we're just very simple and enjoy life and really don't have a whole lot of means for all that other stuff. We all very excited, though, about going down there. I mean, my hometown I grew up in is only like 15, 20 miles, 15 miles maybe from where we're going to be at uh, April 15th to go judge of cooking. So I'm super excited about doing that. Like I said, again, it, I get to go back to my hometown. Uh, it's a place, unfortunately, we haven't been back to in quite a while. So, uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited about doing that and hanging out with some great people. Eating. I know I'm going to be eating some damn good food because uh, I will say that area of the world, I don't care what people say, 
that area of the world is, uh, they've got some really good home cooks and some really good food in, uh, in the restaurants in the local area. So yeah, I'm excited about going and doing that. But we're gonna have a pretty simple one tonight. We're gonna get these potatoes and onions and bell peppers and green onions ready. We're gonna let that chicken cook for a while. Tigger, what are you doing in here? And uh, then we're gonna drop all this in there and we're gonna let it really get some flavor. Get out of here. One of my favorite things is definitely cooking outside and cooking these old Dutch ovens. What are you, what wood are you using? Uh, white oak. Most of it's white oak. There is, may be some red oak involved, uh, but most of it is white oak. We, we cut, we cut lumber or we cut firewood pretty much year round. Uh, most everything <laughs> we've got is heated by wood. Uh, and we were fortunate enough last year, uh, one of the neighbors down the road had eight or ten trees they wanted taken out of their yard, so we were able to do that for them, and it was all white oak. So, yeah, we ended up with quite a bit of white oak this year, which is good, because we usually don't cook with anything except white oak or red oak. And if we can't find it here on our place, which we can find plenty of it, we just don't like cutting it down here. So we usually go out and find people that want trees taken down on their land or around their home. Or even some of the jobs we do is actually clearing land and we'll drag most of it back home. What we don't cut in the firewood, we cut on the sawmill and make lumber and build shit like this. Where's the cornbread? We ain't going to make no cornbread today. Uh, I kind of feel bad that it's our first time going live on Facebook and we didn't make no cornbread. We'll do it uh, But uh, maybe Wednesday night before we go to Alabama. You know, it's it's been a crazy, a crazy go with this. Uh, some people may kind of understand what I'm talking about. We got into doing this and enjoying, you know, showing people a way of living and cooking. And next thing I know, we were booked to be all over the damn place throughout oh, the year. I think we got a couple weekends, maybe. Damn, did I do that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think we got... A few weekends still open, uh, but we've got a lot of weekends booked to go and do a lot of different events, private events, go cook for people. I think right now, I think we're booked, as of now, I think we're booked, what, from, from here in the Texas, Louisiana, Georgia, Georgia, Florida, and possibly... We're going to go do something in uh, the Carolinas. Oh, I know Tennessee's not till November. Yeah, Tennessee. That's in Nashville. Tennessee's not till November, but we got probably, we've got probably 15 or so events between now and then to, to catch. Uh, some, some of them are yeah. going. We'll, we'll be at some of the outdoor mud races and, and mud rides and We'll be cooking at some of those events. Some of them we're not going to cook. We'll just be out there getting muddy as hell and enjoying our time there. Sorry. Uh. And we could actually go through a whole live just thanking the people that, uh, like Sandy's, all the cutouts, the sign. Just the beautiful work they've done. Uh, 
uh, everybody with Team Outlaw that's, that's, you know, helped us and all the great things we've been able to reach and do with them. Uh, we're super excited. Team Outlaw, which is, we'll, we'll, be, we'll be with them tomorrow. We'll be shooting some video with them tomorrow. We're actually going to pull, do a drawing. Yeah, I forgot. You need to tell them about uh, that. We're, we, we, we did everybody that bought merch in the, in the past uh, couple of months was entered into a giveaway and uh, tomorrow we're actually going to drive down to South Arkansas and uh, we're going to get together with Team Team Outlaw and we're going we're gonna to make some videos and whatnot and we're going to have the drawing for a giveaway on a side-by-side -side and a dump trailer. And then as soon as the drawing is done, we're going to call the winner and uh, let them know that they won, and we're going to set up a, set up and see whether they're going to come and pick it up or whether we may uh, personally deliver it to them. So looking forward to that, I love the fact that, you know, these the, the whole entire team is, is so willing to, to give back for the great thing that everybody's done. Somebody said on here, you're hot. He's blowing you a kiss. Hell, I am hot. I'm standing right next to a damn fire. But they're blowing you a kiss, so they miss. Oh, well, I don't know if I'm that kind of hot other than to my wife. It was me that put it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Go ahead. You'll be cutting this damn live short. No, I won't. <laughs> yeah, we're not real sure on the do's and don'ts of Facebook Live, so... Yeah, we've never done it. We kind of know what we can and can't do on most other social media platforms. So, I guess <laughs> like most the other platforms, we'll have to get banned a couple times before we figure it out. No, we're not going to get banned. Ah, uh, Mike's on here. He said, you got him. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh. I saw where Nicholas tried to call. We were in a bad area earlier this morning when he called. Let me see if I can't bring this down. I don't know if they can see you cooking. I can bring it down a little bit. There. Oh, yeah. That's what I like to see. Chicken and a Ruby Cube. Mm. Nice hookup for your cooking. I appreciate it. Man, I enjoy it. You know, it's something we built because we enjoy coming out here and cooking and hanging out. And, you know, one of the things when we moved out here was moving out of here to spend time together and there's nothing more relaxing than to come out here and build a fire and cook this way and hang out with my wife and enjoy life. And then somehow my kids got me into social media and it's it's been a blast to be able to do it with everybody on here. For her, Since this is our first time, I know some of y'all don't know, he has YouTube. He does put tutorials on like making the cornbread, the biscuits, the uh, breakfast casserole. I think there's crawfish pie and there's some of uh, our lives from TikTok. If you go to Cooking with Cajun 555 on uh, YouTube, you can watch some of those. He also has Instagram. What is your favorite Cajun food? Mm. Shit. I don't know. It's all so good. Uh, I, I'd have to say it's hard to beat a good crab meat au gratin. That, that is one of my favorite. The other one would probably be, a, which a lot of people don't understand, I think, when I say this, but one of my favorite meals, hands down, of all all meals is red bull red on a hat shell on a barbecue pit and then covered with a crawfish at toupee that if i was in prison and they say you got one meal 
your last meal, that would be my last meal. It would be a bull red on a hash shell cooked on a, on a barbecue oh. pit with butter and garlic and then just yeah. smothered in a, a, a good crawfish etouffee and hell, I'd, I'd push the button for them after that. That, that has always been one of my favorite meals, as a, even as a youngster. Uh, my dad used to, we used to take us down to Homer and we'd go out and go, go on a shrimp boat and we'd fish and man, that, that was just, I mean, from then on, when I worked offshore, that was one of my favorite things that, you know, catch and cook and come home and cook. Uh, when, when we had time off, we'd go to the coast and go fish and even go wade out in the marsh and uh, walk around and fish in the in the marsh and catching bull reds and coming home cooking that making that to fade pouring it over the top to me there's absolutely no better meal in the world and as y'all can tell i moved out into the ozark mountain uh i ain't no damn bull reds around here Howdy from the natural dam. I want to go there. We pass it every time we go toward Little Rock. Just you and your wife. Keep your health and strength. Love you guys. Thank you, Larry. Thank you. Thank you very much. Do you have a Cajun style baked bean recipe? Hmm. Not really. Uh, and I know y'all probably gonna hate me for this, but really about the only way I really like baked beans is it, pretty simple. And it, I guess it'd be called cowboy beans. Yeah. Uh, that is one of my favorite ways to eat baked beans if I eat them is uh, kind of the old cowboy bean style with a little ground meat and uh, probably the only thing we do different, we may, we'll cut maybe an onion up real fine and kind of saute onion and then with the ground meat, maybe a bell pepper and then we add the, add the old baked beans to it and cook it down and that, now that's probably my favorite way to eat baked beans. I don't know if you can make baked beans too much of a Cajun thing. It's too damn sweet, though. Gloria said, hi, Rut. Hey. Hey, babe. We are in north central Arkansas. We're making the full circle. Our family left France, went to Canada, left Canada, went to Louisiana. We headed back to North Arkansas. Hell, we may end up back in Canada before we know it. We're just making one big ass circle. Nope, no cornbread tonight. We're going to have to do a cornbread on Facebook. This is our first live on here, so. We're trying to do something simple stuff. Well, and the fact that we got to leave in the morning, and drive for an, drive to go shoot a video in South Arkansas, then turn around and drive right back, and then turn around and drive to Alabama probably next Thursday night. Scott Michael. Scott Michael, sing me a song. Where y'all playing at tonight? Boy, if y'all ain't never listening or if y'all not following and, and listening to Scott Michael, y'all would just... Scott Michael is South 70. Y'all just missing out all together. Let me tell you, boy. We awesome, baby. down there to the Cajun Pony, I about broke a hill. I danced like I was 19 again. 
Larry's wife says, love you guys and your MF and cornbread. Hell yeah. We've got to get down there and hang out, would you? I just started, no, no, uh, let's see, I just started following him and I love it, but I want to see him make a gravy. Oh, we'll make a gravy. Shit, we can make a gravy. If y'all are in the New Iberia area, he's playing. We'll make a gravy. Hell, I'd make a gravy with just about any damn thing out there. I have a feeling we're going to leave out Thursday after work. Yeah, we're probably going to head out Thursday. Probably drive through tonight, get there. So we can have all day Friday, all day Saturday, and then we'll head back Sunday. We've got to try to get there and represent and help. We, we've got some great people that have supported us. We've got to continue supporting them. So. When, oh, I... Where, when is that? Because I think last year we were going to go and we ended up going, trying to go to some stupid festival in Fayetteville and it was horrible. Talking about the Folk and Bean Festival oh, yeah. over in Mountain oh. View. Yeah. How far are y'all from Hot Springs? We're about four and a half hours, I think. Never too far to go visit. Yeah, I'm going to have to look that up for the Folk Festival. The Folk Festival. Festival. I think it was the Bean Festival. Is that when they do the outhouse races? Because we were supposed to go to something in Fayetteville last year, and it was like, yeah, it was miserable. I'm not going to lie. Uh, I think he walked away to go grab something. I'll tell him that you love the beard. I have pepper, onions, and Jack Daniels. Huh. Thank y'all for joining us on our first Facebook Live. Uh, thanks for the likes, the shares, the stars. It means a lot. Somebody said they loved your beard, but I'm looking, I'm looking, somebody said they love your beard. I'm looking at his profile. Look like he got a long one too. Hell oh, yeah, he probably got one longer than mine. Hey, I asked the guy that said something about the Bean Festival. I said, is that where they, uh, had the outhouse raise? He said, yes, ma'am. You gotta go oh, see that. Oh, is that the one we went to last year where it was like two freaking degrees yeah, outside well, well, raining? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Scott said him and Tony are going to make a bike trip up here soon. Come Hell on. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I'm always looking for a good reason to cook for good people. Love the cooking shit and the use of... Thank you. And I'm going to tell you, we have met tens of thousands of people over the last six months. And I have yet to find anyone that I would not love to hang out with. Uh, Scotty and Aaron, which are a couple from Oklahoma. Uh, Scott, Michael, I mean, everyone. His wife, Tony. Yeah, I mean, we have met just tons of great people. Finally got to meet Brandy and Kat. Yeah. DJ Red. Ricky and the Boss. <laughs> that ain't even funny. <laughs> Oh, we're going to see we're them. We're going to his house we're, tomorrow. Yeah, we're going to his house tomorrow. What are you cooking right now? I am cooking a... What's in that pot? Water and salt. <laughs> I, I'm just asking. We're that fixing way. a bowl, some noodles, some elbow noodles, and then we're going to make some macaroni and cheese. And I'm going to tell you... Is it, is it going to make your pot wet fall off? Oh, Man, I tell you right now, if you're wearing some pantalettes, you just soon go take them off. Or cuss on? You just soon take them off, because I'm going to tell you, they're going well, to be ankle bracelets. What if somebody while. doesn't wear uh, pantalettes and cuss on? Huh? What if they don't wear them? Then you come solo. <laughs> somebody says South 70 has kick-ass music. They do. 
Well, there's Scott Michaels there. I know damn well they do. No, if Miss Tony is there, I know damn well they do. Yeah, I ain't lying. Let me tell you, you talk about a voice, a voice from heaven. Yep. I'm a fan originally from Philly, but parents are from Georgia and North Carolina. Welcome. And thank you. Ain't, ain't, no, no, ain't no MF and cornbread? <sighs> ain't no MF and cornbread today. I have a feeling you fix have to go mix some up and do a quick batch. Now you act like I got cornmeal just laying around in five-gallon buckets like I do. I don't know if we have any at all. Because we used so much last weekend. Oh, no, I've got corn. I've got cornmeal. The only, rate, the only way I'd run out of cornmeal if I'd store a batch of shine. That damn fire. I don't understand it. I got some damn wood underneath that pot over here that was smoking. Oh. It ain't the fireplace. It's... Going to drink me some Coors Light tonight here in Columbus, Ohio. Oh, before I forget to say anything. You pregnant? Fuck, if I am, we're all rich. Boy, I ain't well, better watch my words. I don't know. <laughs> uh... To anybody that was in Mississippi last night during the tornadoes, if you know someone or anything, y'all are, God, y'all are in my prayers. Those towns, I saw the aftermath. Yeah, we'll definitely be praying for everybody in those it was areas. A, it was an F4 tornado. And if, if y'all can, pray for them and just... Anything we can do to help, we'll definitely try. Joffrey. What's up, Joffrey? We are doing it today because we got to go make a day trip to South Arkansas tomorrow. Where's the moonshine if there ain't no MF and cornbread? I'll drink corn if I can't eat it. What I'm talking about, that's usually what I do. What we cooking? Trying to figure out what to cook tonight. We're cooking a baked chicken, some macaroni and cheese. That's gonna be notched. It's gonna be knocked up a couple of notches. Blake said hi, Joffrey. His real name is Jeffrey. But when he first started working with my husband, the man that owned the business at the time started calling him Joffrey. So yeah, guess, now that's what we all. That's call what him. we all call him. Can't get my stuff level. We got baked chicken. Uh, we're gonna have some baked macaroni and cheese. We're gonna boil our noodle, and then we're gonna put it in a cast iron. Once we mix it, mm. we're gonna bake it, Make and some... then we got some uh, dirty rice. Rice dressing. Dirty rice. Rice dressing. And my fuck gonna be dirty when I get done with it. That Alabama swamp juice would be good. Hey, we're going to be in Alabama next weekend. Oh, shoot. What was the name of it? Something Boulder. Hell, if I know, I get, I get shipped to places half the time. I don't know where the hell I'm going. Uh, we're going to Boggs and Boulders in Brooklyn, Alabama. Oh, he said they got to have Barbie Jeep going. Don't you even get on a Barbie Jeep. Oh, yeah, they got the Barbie Jeep race. Yep. Oh, yeah, I'm probably going to do that. So, uh, I was in Mississippi this morning. It's awful. Is my insurance still up to date? Nope, I canceled it just now. Damn. <gasps> Damn. Hey, Vicky, them. how are you? I probably do them Barbie Jeep. I have got to come to Clinton to see y'all. I miss you. That's my cousin. Who is it? Her name is Vicky. You haven't met her. But you will soon. Baby, the only family I've met was your mom and the two kids you gave birth to. Seminary, Mississippi. We've got friends that live in Bassfield and Prentice. You, you know any of McPhail's? Yeah, I do. Cantrell. No, I'm asking them. I sent y'all some last week. Uh, what season name was that? Because we have gotten yeah, a like, couple, three or four since then. 
Is it the one in the black container? I want to say it is. Okay. And I apologize. I can't say the name of it. Because uh, we, like I said, we've probably gotten four or five different packages. But I will say this. Whether I'm wrong about the name or the brand or the person. Someone sent me. Damn, I need to go get it. Someone sent me two containers, yeah, well, well, a couple of containers, but they sent two that's in a black container with red uh, writing and stuff on it. Yes, Joffrey, come on, you out here. And uh, Joffrey's coming. That that season in there, and I, I, I feel bad. I, I may go get it here. In yeah, the he next. sent you a regular season and like a blackening, blackened season to put on like blackened yeah. fish. But. Everything that they sent in that seasoning is the bomb. It was absolutely... Pretty damn close to yours. Yeah, it was absolutely delicious. Is that Matter of fact, we went to Mud Nationals and cooked. Uh, I cooked the crawfish etouffee one night, and I actually used that seasoning in the etouffee. And then the next day, I cooked a big pot. I cooked like 25 pounds of red beans. And I used my seasoning, and personally, I couldn't tell the two. No, I couldn't either. I couldn't tell the difference. They are uh, spot on and very good seasoning. I absolutely enjoyed every bit of it, and I've still got some of it left. Uh, I've got about a half of one of the two cans they sent. I've got about a half a can left. He the, said his family originated from Jeff Davis County. So, do you know a Kendall McPhail and the late and great Chuck Pruitt? And Dimble McPhail? <laughs> that's from Big Al Sauce Company in Mobile. Yep, that's it. That's it. And I will say, that motherfucker is good. I'm going to have to cut y'all loose. Y'all ain't got no MF and cornbread. Well, I apologize. His name, his is that magic. I don't think we've got his yet. Yeah, I think we did. Did we? I think we did. You have to go look. Well, I may not have tried it yet. We, we've we gotten like three or four packages the last couple of days. I, I sent y'all some to... last week. What day did you, yeah. I hadn't been able to try everything yet. Well, I'll have to go try it as soon as we get done. Yeah. And the way I like to try seasoning, and maybe I'm different than a lot of folks, I'm not big on just putting it in my hand and taste it because my seasoning, personally, tastes nothing like it does raw compared to being cooked or used in, in a dish. So I like to cook cook with it and, and get the flavors because uh, seasoning is cooked different than they taste raw especially when you're blending a lot of seasoning so i'll look I'm, i mean i've got a cabinet in my house guys y'all would not believe it's about eight foot long <gasps> and it's nothing but seasoning people have sent me real quick joffrey if you still on here are you really coming i would love to have set up like yours being able to cook outside I'm cooking a jambalaya with chicken, shrimp, deer meat, nandoui sausage, rice, peppers, and onions. Well, just go ahead and pick at me like that. <laughs> I'd much rather be eating that than this old damn hen that I... Be grateful you even eating that damn hen. Hey. Hey. I ain't saying nothing bad about eating a hen, but this guy's cooking a fucking he just He just rubbing it in your face, huh? Yeah, he just, he just over there playing games. If Joffrey don't answer me here in a minute, I'm fixing to text him. He might not answer you because his ass may be on his way. That's why I said I'm going to text him to pick me up something in town. Because I'm down to one. Well, you might want to text him. Where's your phone? I don't think I have his number. I, I deleted everybody that I worked with, y'all. Because I don't work with them no more. Shit, I work with him. I've been deleting that damn number. <laughs> oh, 
Look, sound like somebody's slowing down. That might be him already. <laughs> yeah, he ain't that bad. Yep. Yes, I do need something. I'm going to text it to you. I'm going to send a picture. Well, just be thankful. It ain't moonshine. But we got that. Oh, look at that old fire right there. Let me you get your calzone warm, boy. I don't wear calzones. Well, I get that. Yeah, let me. Hey, y'all, see this sign right here? Isn't that pretty badass? A friend of ours from Mooreville, Louisiana. Sandy, you can see him, find him on Facebook. They make some great stuff. Is that garlic? Huh? What is that? <laughs> Noodles. Oh. Ah! Okay. I'm checking my noodle content. But that noise. Ah! Ah! That's what happens when you got a hornet on and you didn't tie it off. Oh. 